hear down the hall in the bedroom. Ah, uh, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry it's under these circumstances. I never want to put you in this position. There's a few lab staff I trust to help me, but neither have picked up their phones. And, well, honestly, you're the only friend I have in the city. I hope you don't mind seeing me this way. I can't quite get off the floor. Please, excuse me for not being able to let you in. <sighs> don't worry. Like I said on the phone... No one did this to me. It's entirely my fault. I've been... throwing myself into my work... to perhaps an unhealthy degree. And on top of that... I've been facing growing distractions. Daydreaming about... <laughs> Sorry. It doesn't matter. The point is, I became careless. I store my blood recipe prototypes with the blood packs I keep for feeding. I lost track of keeping my personal supply in stock and absent-mindedly reached for one to feed myself with. I drank one meant for Slade. That's what I get for taking my work home with me. <laughs> the blood was specifically crafted for Slade's biology. It's not meant for vampires like me, who come from a long-standing bloodline. I thought maybe my unique parentage might give me some resilience against the negative effects, but... <laughs> As you can see... My body views the custom blood as a threat. And... And... It's currently trying to shut down my cardiovascular system. To avoid absorbing it. <sighs> I know. Me explaining all of this seems like a waste of precious breath. But I need you to understand how dire the situation is. Were you able to get into the clinic all right? Were my instructions enough? Wait. What? Didn't you say you'd be able to help? I'm sorry if it wasn't clear. But I need that blood too. No. No, I couldn't. You... You don't understand what you're offering. You're right that it won't turn you but to offer your neck to a vampire at all 
much less one in the state that I'm in. Do you have any regards for your own safety? Do you know what I could do, even weakened like this? The danger you could be in? Do you really trust me that much? If that's your choice, then I want to honor it. I want to be worthy of what you're doing for me here. I promise you, I won't hurt you. Now or ever. You have my word. Ah, uh, it doesn't have to be your neck. It's actually better if I avoid arteries. Given my current state, I'm a bit... shaky. Could I... drink from your wrist? And please... You're sure about this? You promise. Then... Your wrist, please. Here. If you'd like, you can cup my face. It'll help steady your wrist. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't also to provide some comfort to us both. Oh, you're so warm. Ah, uh, it's nice. I forgot what it's like. Ah, uh, here. Let me walk you through this. My fangs will fully extend, becoming much sharper. Their extension will trigger a numbing agent to be released into my saliva. To ensure you won't feel pain, I'll, um, lick the area slightly. And then... I'll bite. I won't drink much. Just enough. And it shouldn't hurt. Does that sound all right? Thank you. Truly. Then, are you ready? Just a little more. There. That's all. I'm already starting to feel better. I didn't imagine it working that fast. Ah. Please, allow me to keep pressure on the wound for you. Ah, the pain is subsiding. I haven't drank from a human in so long. I'd forgotten what it was like. Don't worry. I only fed from volunteers. That was back before my lab worked out the process to store blood for feeding longer than a couple of days. Now, a bag of blood can last up to two weeks in proper storage. We're hoping to... Ah. Excuse me. 
I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? That's all to say that before that, our donors would provide blood as a fresh source, all while in a professional and medically sanitary setting. It was a standard that my parents helped pioneer. That's them in the photo on the wall over there. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not bothered by your eyes wandering my apartment. Do the amount of plants surprise you? The first of the few times Slade's been by, he remarked how I didn't seem like a plant guy. August said keeping plants was like the dumb, boring version of having an actual pet. <sighs> There's a lot to be learned from plants, you know? I learned that growing up. My parents had a romance that wasn't... approved of. So they moved out into the country where they had me. A lot of the townsfolk believed in the old wisdom of plants that they could heal. Many of the beliefs were unscientific. But human culture can't help but be beautiful in what it comes up with sometimes. And some of their plant remedies have an amount of efficacy. That's why I like to grow some here, as well as ones I find beautiful, or that remind me of home. <laughs> I guess I don't quite hide my lack of bias against humans, do I? My parents' relationship was controversial because my mother was a human when they fell in love. My father scorning his arranged marriage to run away with his forbidden human lover? Quite the scandal. She had been turned by her choice before they conceived me, so I myself don't carry any human blood. They opened up their medical clinic in the countryside, gave birth to their only child, and the rest is history. Ah, excuse me if I've talked too much about myself. I'm afraid the endorphins of pain relief have loosened my tongue. Would you like to see the rest of my apartment? I could cook you something after, if you'd like to stay. Honestly, it's a paltry thank you for saving me like you did, but I need to show you how grateful I am. What do you say? Oh, you're still here. Well, if you're interested in more audios like this one, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm sure you'd find it worth your time. If you're an adult listener seeking some more mature content, I can send you over to patreon.com slash anagome. Or, if you want a commission tailored to your very own needs, please examine anagome.com slash commissions. Now you'd better be off. Please be careful out there. Till we meet again. <laughs>